All right, everybody, and we are back. Woo! What a grand day it has been for Sneaky Feet. So let's recap. What the heck? What the heck have we been doing? So we wandered into Mordavia. All right. So we we passed lots of greasy, grimy grew. We got into a fight with a couple of bats. So we found a, we found a couple of bucks. And let's see, made our way to Mordavia. We met the Burgermeister, who is a rather rotund gentleman. We met the shopkeeper, who is rather rotund as well. And then we met the innkeeper, who is probably the fattest of them all. Uh, met the Gravedigger, who's pretty thin. The Thieves Guild guy, who's uh, kind of a bug right, right about now. But, oh, wait, 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 we can fix that, I think, all right? Because from what we understand, the Thief Guild dude came in here, touched this statue that we now have in our possession, as well as the Ritual of Blood, which we need for, you know, reasons. I think we basically need them so the bad guys can't get them, so we will have them. Uh, but here's this interesting bug statue that we found. Carefully wrapped in a shopping bag is the grotesque sculpture of a horrible squid-like monster. I really wish that John Rice Davies would have said that, but I think I know exactly what to do with this. So let's get out of the monastery, because I think, honestly, besides this little lump of flesh over here, we're just about done with the monastery. You retrieve the Dark One sign from the monastery door, then quickly step away before the Hectopus can react. I think the Hectopus should be pretty well benign by now. I think he's pretty well fed. Okay. Let's see, Thieves Guild is through the Adventurer's Guild, which is now unlocked. And I have full stamina, so while we're here, let's go ahead and practice with this strength building machine. Not that strength building is number one on my list of stuff. Any more weight might strain your muscles. Try working with the weights you already have in the basket. Mm, that is John Rice Davies way of saying, you know what, you're that much of a weakling that even though there is no weights in the baskets, you can barely even tolerate it. So I just did it for a little while. And let's see if that had any appreciable diff uh, effect on my strength. And went from like, I don't know what it was before to 205. If I would have checked it before, it would have been handy. But anyway, to the Thieves Guild. Very slowly clambering and clamoring up through the empty picture frame. Hello, my little buggy friend. All right, well, let's say hello. Let's be the uh, the nicest guy. We already offered to help him. Uh, let's say hello. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Sometimes I think I will go crazy if I don't have someone to talk to other than the other cockroaches around here. I haven't seen any other cockroaches. Well, then again, I'm not, I don't think the resolution is high enough for me to see the other cockroaches. All right. This should prove ourselves to the chief thief that we're going to get him out of this cockroach form, even though he is kind of a badass with that. We saw him like throw like five daggers at once with all his feet. There you go. Oh. Wonderful. Wonderful! Oh, I liked you better as a bug. Just scuttling the shadows all the time. I won't have to have unsavory eating practices. Thank you. Thank you so very much. What do you give me? Uh, well, you think he'd be a little bit more grateful by showering me with... I'm not going to tell him to be careful. Uh, that would be really bad. I'll say you're welcome. You're welcome. You have such nice manners. Are you certain you want to hang around tough, brutal scum of the earth who will try to beat you up at the slightest excuse? Or is that your idea of a good time? Hmm. Well, in order to be inducted into the guild proper, I needed to conduct a break-in uh, into a tough place, and then he'll tell me where all the good places are, so I figured the monastery is as good a place as any. Even though I didn't really break in, I just kind of went through the front door. Uh, well, you see, I opened the door, and then there was this hungry squid thing, and then I, I, I touched the fireplace. You did <laughs> very well. Very well indeed. I can tell that you will someday be a cheap thief yourself. Uh, you call me a cheap thief? Okay, well, that should be my way in. Does that not count as a break-in? Uh, let's see. Castle secret entrance. There is a secret passage to the castle from the Boyar script in the graveyard. There is a special way to open this secret door. Something involving colors and the Borgov family crest, I think. 
I think. You must be very careful. I know nothing of the people who now live in the castle. Only that the last thieves to break in never returned. Hmm, good to know, but he's also not giving me the information that I wanted. Or maybe that was the information. Well, great. So I've solved all your problems, and what do I get in return for it? Something that I already fucking knew. Thanks so much. Bye! Going so soon? Good luck. You know what? I'm a thief. I'll make my own way in this crazy world. Thank you very much. Actually, no. Thanks for nothing. I do know of a couple places that you can break in for shizzle. But for now, I think we should continue our quest to find the rest of these rituals because that is a number one. Then again, what time is it? It's the middle of the day. Well, let's go exploring, all right? We haven't actually been outside the town hardly at all. It took us all this time just to meet everyone and say hello and be leered at and insulted and pretty much told to go away in every conceivable language and tone. But that will not deter me. So let's go out and take a look around. Um, now, I know you can break into his house. Nikolai's house, which is right over here, but only at certain times of the night. And you gotta be a little bit careful, too, because you can get to some pretty hefty trouble around here. Alright, there's Irana's staff. Good entry point. A really nice sort of foyer into the town. Oh, listen to the epic music. Even though we've already been out here before, it is definitely appreciated. Thank you oh so much. Alright. Um, oh god, hello, hockey friend. Did you really have to screech directly into my ear canal? The hungry hunting hawk alertly searches for signs of game not already claimed by the forest monsters. I think the hungry hunting hawk is looking for some hungry, hungry hippos. Can I talk to him? Give me my animal can? I can make him hawk all I want. Can I say hello No one to him? seems to be listening. All right, fine. Well, can I... All right, he's gone. I lost my opportunity. I was going to try and grab and molest the hawk, but no dice. Well, let's see. Let's go wandering over this way. Oh, here we go. This must be Castle Borgov. A heavy gate blocks the way to the winding road. Far in the distance, you can see a majestic castle. Walk down that old... Well, oh, God! Come to Mordavia. Mm. It's nice to have some fresh blood around here. We so seldom see strangers. Thank you, Mr. Boris Korlov. It's good to meet... I mean, I mean, Boris Korlov, is that you? Okay. Well, we thank you for Mr. Karloff, and then we have this rather epic... Oh, is that where Erasmus lives? That's Magic Mountain. I recognize that path anywhere. And up there, there's a gargoyle. I'm going to ask us what our favorite color is and throw us off the end of it. Hello! It is so difficult to get past the swamp which blocks the pass to and from the valley. We haven't had a stranger here since the rains created the swamp several years ago. I'm a little bit disappointed that he does not say valley, but instead acts as the after a proper English valley. But he does say, oh, it was so long ago. I really want to watch The Grinch That Stole Christmas now. Well, let's tell about ourselves because I am that much of an egomaniac. Well, you see, I can't... You've oh. obviously done quite a lot for one person. It will be interesting to see what you do around here. I think he wants to kill me. I also wonder how much time actually passes between him sneaky feet beginning this story and ending that story. Because if he's talking about three games worth of content, I mean, you guys are going to have to pack a lunch. You're going to have to have a couple of drinks of water in between that one. Maybe a nap or two. Whatever. Well, let's find out what he's all about. Oh, God, he's all skin and bones. He's so creepy. And I absolutely adore him. What's your name, Mr. Karloff? I am Boris Stovich. Well, his first name is Boris, like Boris Ka Stov Stovich. Sto Wait a second. Wasn't the, the 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 rather hefty store owner's her last name was here? She was Olga Stovich. She said her husband was dead. He might as well be dead. I mean, look at him. Damn. 
Well, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Let's ask him, uh, let's start with the beginning. Your castle. This is the castle of the Boyars, the title of the rulers of Mordavia. It once belonged to the Borgov family for generations, but the last Borgov has been dead for many, many years. I want to sell every story this way. Yesterday, I went to the store to buy some beer. Do you think I would get kicked out of a lot of parties if I talked like that? Mordavia! Mordavia is the name of this valley and of the town. Even the inn is called the Hotel Mordavia. It's a lovely place. Dark Valley. Hmm. Okay, good to know. Well, let's learn about the, uh, Borgov family. Yeah. The heads of the Borgov family were the boyars of Mordavia for ages. The last Borgov disappeared at the time of darkness. No one knows what became of him. I can listen to him tell stories all day. For the love of God, please tell me about the time of darkness. It is bad luck to even speak of the time of darkness. Except oh, I am. It was a safe and lovely land before that time. Much has changed since then, and... For the worse. Great. So the time of darkness being the darkest period in Mordavian history. Now things are ten times worse. But it looks so nice outside. It's so pretty. Boyar. Or backwards is Royab. Boyars are rather like barons of other lands. They own the castle and protect everyone within their domain. All right, well, I guess we can figure that one out. They live in a castle, so they're obviously the protectors of the valley. Who, who lives in yonder castle of my father, the king? I'm not certain who all lives in the castle. I so seldom see anyone from So you have no idea who you work for? There's the master, of course. And then there's the strange foreigner. There's also the master's daughter, I believe. And some rather strange guards. Beyond that... I really can't say. Beyond naming every single person in the castle, really can't say. All right, well, let's learn more about these people in the castle because these will be important. Daughter! I haven't actually seen the daughter, but I know the master is quite proud of her. Mm. Oh, tell me about master. The master desires privacy, and I respect that wish. As I always say, <clears throat> The will of the master is the shell of the servant. <laughs> I wrote that. Hmm, exactly. Wait, did you write it on human blood? In human blood on... Let's, let me just try that entire line again. <clears throat> what, did you write it in human blood on human skin? Ha ha ha! This would have been funny at the first time. Foreigner! He is an unpleasant sort, with a short beard and moustache and a funny hat. He is rude when giving orders, and he has the habit of staring at a person and licking his lips. Most unsavory. My hand is so itchy. Uh-oh, he fell asleep. Good night, sweet prince, and a valley of bats fling thee to thy four no way guards! I have only caught glimpses of them occasionally, but I don't think they are quite human. No matter. If a man does a good job, then whether he is a man does not matter. Mmm, pray, no, I, no, no, I'm not, okay, whatever, let's talk about something else. So we already talked about the castle, but that's only half of what we're interested in. Let's learn more about Boris, and then I really want to ask about the town. Maybe we can find out if he's connected to Ogostovich. Maybe they're brothers. Boris! I am the gatekeeper of Borgov Castle. Is it not true that... He who guards the gates is the keystone speaker? I think you mean keynote speaker, but I'll, uh, I'll accept it because we're in a uh, hellish nightmare of Lovecraftian origin. Gate! This is the gate to Borgov Castle. You can see it in the distance behind here. I am here to make certain that only welcome guests may enter through here in the daytime. 
At night, this gate is guarded by huge necrotars, who make certain no one tries to enter without permission. Well, interesting enough. All right, now, uh, all right, fine, let's go in order, because I'm really curious about the town, but I, first I need to ask about... Oh, gee, tell me about the gate. Bah. This is the gate to Borgov Castle. You can see it in the distance behind here. I am here to make certain that only welcome guests may enter through here in the daytime. At night, this gate is guarded by huge necrotars, who make certain no one tries to enter without permission. He seems to take the fact that there are hellish nightmare creatures guarding the gate at every given moment when he is not watching, and he's like, hmm, oh, well, this is something out of your deepest nightmare. Whatever. Turn! The town of Mordavia is to the east of here. Turn to the east as you leave and continue until your way is blocked by rocks. Then turn north and you will find the gates of the town. Okay, well I can't really ask too much else about the town, but at least maybe now I know the fact that there is a guy named Boris chilling out here. Alright, I can't really say too much else to him, so I'll just say bye bye Farewell. And may you find whatever you seek. Whatever I seek? Oh, the poor guy's got a lisp. All right, well, Boris, you wait there. I'll, I'll be back. I don't trust you at all. I think... Goodbye, young man. May the fireplace be warm and the drink cold at your journey's end. What if he ever gets that backwards and says the fireplace is cold and your drink is warm? All right, now let's go ahead and make this trip back here, and let's go confront Olga about the whereabouts of a certain Boris Stovich. And thank God that Eagle is not here to bust my eardrums open again. Thank you all so much, nature. I also remember at nighttime, this screen, like one of these pumpkins turns into a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. Well, not one turns into a bunch. I'm an idiot, and I said it that way, but one turns into one jack-o'-lantern. That would even be more interesting. All right, in through the gift shop sphincter. Hey there, Grandma. It's you again. It's been a quiet day so far. It's been exactly the same day since I talked to you before, and your cats are still in exactly the same place holding up the window. Quite nice. Well, hello. Made it back, did you? So what can I do for you this time? All right, let's see if we can mention the fact that, let's see, a uh, husband! I uh, think I know where he is. Yeah, my sad departed husband. His name was Boris. Gone three years now. He was such a good man. Hmm, I can't imagine why your husband would run off and be the solitary gatekeeper. You know he's like literally about 50 yards that away. All right, I can't really go into too much more detail here. Um, can I say anything about him? Aha! Well, you see, I, I don't think he's dead. I think he kind of finds you sexually unattractive. You tell Olga that the gatekeeper's name is Boris Stovich and ask if they're related. Aha! So that's where the so-and-so went. <laughs> tell him he's a rotten or good Nick. Well, she's taking this news rather well. If I learned that my significant other faked her own death to get away from me, I would be a little bit more upset. All right, well, we got a message to deliver. Off to Boris again. And I'm going to do so as politely as always. Bye! I expect you plan on going adventuring some more. Well, I suppose the gravedigger has some room left at the cemetery? Yeah, yeah, take all, talk all you want, you garlic-scented wench. Afida saying, <laughs> As my uh, lost husband used to say, may all your travels lead somewhere. Lady, I just told you, you just said that your husband was an asshole, and now you're quoting all of his quotable quotes from TV Guide. Whatever. Forget about saving the world from evil entities. Let's patch up your marital issues. To his lover was untrue. Why is he Australian? Oh, uh, well, you see, Boris said that you're a nagging hoe. Most 